hi guys and welcome back to ask nk and today we'll be talking about an app called speed tree so just in case you don't know what speed tree is speed tree is a uh, an app that's made you by a lot of people in the industry to create trees plants and foliage so what this uh, tool does is you can practically create whatever kind of tree you want to use in either in your game or in your animation or let's say in your vfx project and the same thing goes for plants and the same thing also goes for for foliages that you want to make use of but the funny thing is uh just recently uh, speed tree has also released a new version called speed tree 8.2 it's not actually i think it's an update to it so it's called uh, speed tree 8.2 but the thing with the update is this that this particular update is most is centered on making use of photogrammy tools to create whatever thing you want to create in speed tree so for example you have your camera with you you can go ahead and take pictures around and you know the application will be able to stitch these images together or make use of these images as maps to create the threes or the plants that you want to create it's an amazing stuff because first and foremost before we even talk about every other thing that speed tree can do first and foremost speed tree makes use of a procedural workflow okay so it simply means that you can connect nodes together and get things done amazingly fast and it makes a lot of sense now coming with this new update what they're trying to say is uh, what they're actually saying is that you can now combine the procedural workflow with scanned photos and at the same time you can stitch them together and get what you want done way faster and they are trying to make sure that these two approaches that they can combine together so that they can allow the artist to create multiple variations of uh of uh, three just making use of a single mesh this is a next level sort of procedural uh, step when it comes to uh, plant generation there's also a third party app that is also used for creating plants and that app is uh, i think it's called uh, plant factory from eon and for some time now we've not actually gotten any kind of updates from them i think the last update that we got from eon uh, plant factory was uh, 2016 r2 or something like that i'm going to find it and put it somewhere in the description but uh, be that as it may this uh, update is something that is worth looking into and i guess a lot of companies are going towards the fact that you don't need to you know hand sketch most of this stuff anymore or you don't need to uh, sculpt some m most of these tiny little details like spend so much time i guess these companies are going towards the path where the artist needs to work way smarter with the tools that they are creating than working too hard to just get uh, some stuff that might not even end up in the final call and another thing i would like you guys to know about with this new update is they probably will stop uh, anything that has to do with monthly subscription so if you are going to be making use of speed tree let's say uh, as an indie game artist i think sooner than later they are going to stop the monthly uh, subscription so subscriptions these days would probably be annual subscription and i don't know the reason why most of these companies are going towards the subscription base i understand that it's going to be cheaper for the artists for the time being but in the long run i also think it's going to be a bit more expensive because if you spend a particular amount of money year in year out or steadily on a monthly basis then what that simply means is if you can save up that amount and get a perpetual license it's going to save you a lot of money at the end of the day so i would like to know what you guys think about perpetual license and subscription i would uh, love to hear from you guys in the comment section and also as a game artist when you create your models from speed tree it also gives you this feature that simply uh, allows you to export them as either fbx or obj although like i said earlier there's a lot of plugins that has to do with speed tree so most of the times you don't really need to go back and forth trying to export these things and import them as well and for the photogrammy thingy uh the writer license that is coming with speed tree would also include uh several 
tools as well as the um, FBX export OBJ and photogrammy for rental licenses if you are an indie game artist so this is targeted to indie game artists as well so I would like you guys to tell me what you think about this tool in the comment section down and if you love this video I would like you to give it a thumbs up and until I see you guys next time peace